Now I am still very new to this myself and I've been learning uh, so much stuff on this like I am like way down here and other travel vloggers and plastic free life people like I'm learning so much stuff from watching other people's YouTube vlogs who are doing something similar to me and have been doing it a lot longer I'm learning so much from people who already live a waste free lifestyle it's been giving me tons of ideas um, I've actually been inspired to do an art project that I'm gonna hopefully work on after Italy I learned a whole lot on this plastic challenge I'm not even sure that I can put it on to words yet in a video especially because I've got like a million things going on in my head for my trip coming up as well as this challenge but I learned there's so much more plastic out there than I originally anticipated like even though I'd been planning to do this um, documentary vlog series for a couple of months now um, it was in my head but I thought I'd thought of everything and until I actually went into action and started trying to avoid the plastic products it was I learned something almost every time I went out in public I was like oh my god this is plastic oh my god like there's nothing I could buy it was challenging and kind of depressing in fact um I just got back from the grocery store today and I was walking down the dairy cheese meat aisle where all of the stuff is plastic because that's the most hygienic way to keep things fresh and it almost reminded me of when I came back from Guatemala several years ago in my first trip out of the country and I lived there for six months and I walked into a US supermarket again it's that feeling you're just kind of equally disgusted overwhelmed but also perplexed on what to do about it because we're so far in to this consumerist society the way things work like this is it would require so much more than small changes though small changes do make a difference I've learned a lot in my own habits and plan to make some permanent changes I think now that I've done this I learned so much more than just how much of a problem there is with plastic I learned a lot about self-esteem and that because it was super awkward having to explain myself every time I went in a grocery store and like ask if there was an alternative they could use for me and like look really ridiculous with paper bags at the checkout when everyone's got their regular plastic produce bags so I learned a lot about how if you really want to make a change with something then you just got to go for it and you have to have self-confidence you just like people are gonna look at you funny people aren't it's different it's something we've gotten so used to using these products that just come in plastic and plastic like, like mm, coming across someone who's like um can you wrap this in paper when most people want it in plastic so it doesn't leak like uh, you're gonna get looked at like you just gotta deal with it um i learned that a lot of people do care they just don't know what to do and that's what setting an example is for, I hope. Not eating chips. Ugh. I think that was one of the hardest things was that there's certain foods that just don't really even, you don't even really have an option. Like with meat, I could go to a meat counter. I did have to pay a little bit more money, which is very unfortunate. And that's another thing that was hard because if you don't have the budget to spend that much more money on something that you can get cheaper it's really really hard to do and not being able to eat chips was so challenging I was shocked that no chips come in something other than plastic they're all in plastic or at least partially plastic and I thought like 
you know, there's those ones that look like paper, but they're plastic lined because obviously paper is permeable so the chips would get stale or go bad. Never even considered that as a thing. That's another thing that I learned too. And probably that was the hardest thing for me was having to give up my treat because that's something I like to snack on when I feel like I've been eating well for a while or if I just stressed out and need a good snack. <laughs> Remembering to document everything that isn't really related to plastic because if you're just doing this for yourself you don't have to document it but I was doing this for you guys as well and so remembering to document everything and record it I'm I'm sure I missed a lot of great moments because I just like wasn't thinking to have my camera out or didn't think to bring my camera with me and like yeah I took a I ended up taking a lot of stuff on my phone that I didn't plan to because I just was like oh my god I need to document this oh my god and like you don't you don't really think remember to carry around and document your life so that was challenging and then just the inconvenience of it and the expenses it was just it was a lot more expensive than I'm used to paying in groceries and now I already probably spend a lot more than the average person my age on groceries because I've had a family history of health issues and stuff so we really value eating well and I will spend the extra money on groceries like as an investment in myself and my health but even so it was so more expensive trying to live that way plastic free now if I just got like regular chicken or something at the counter, it was only like $3 a pound and the ground beef was only like $3 a pound, which is actually less than what I pay, but that was the basic chicken and ground beef and I usually get organic and grass fed and pasture raised and stuff like that. So that behind the counter, like the wild caught salmon was so expensive. I usually get like a, a big slab of salmon and it would be like six or seven dollars and it was wild caught in the freezer section but since that came in plastic I had to go to the deli counter or not the deli meat counter I had to go to the meat counter and get it and it was twenty five dollars a pound so the same quantity ended up being about $12 versus six what I was paying before so with the healthy stuff that was that was really hard I can't afford that on a regular basis I actually ended up failing on my diet quite a bit because I was just trying so hard to find plastic free stuff that I ended up buying some lower quality meat from the counter just so I could afford it and I ended up uh, eating wheat again and things like that just because I could find something like at Whole Foods at the like food bar like I'd get a pizza or something because it came in cardboard and I'm not supposed to be eating wheat right now so expense was definitely an issue convenience was an issue because it was when I was busy I was buying so much food from the Whole Foods hot bar because you could get them in a cardboard box now I don't know how they come to the store they're probably in plastic but to me it was coming in cardboard and I spent so much money on that hot foods bar that I don't usually do so that was challenging please don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends and comment below if you're interested in anything particular if there's a question that you have that I didn't answer in one of my videos please 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 don't hesitate to reach out to me and ask I'd love to research and I love to look stuff up and figure things out I love to learn so I will share these things with you tell me what you want to learn about Italy because I'm gonna be there hopefully for three months and I'm here right now. I'm not. I'm in my room when I'm shooting this video. But when you're watching this video, I'm going to be in Italy, which is really weird to think about. But yes, let me know what you want to learn about because I will tape it for you. Pretty sure. We know what my guilty pleasure is. I'm getting near the end of this challenge and 
I have a lot of deadlines to get things done since I'm leaving the country in three weeks and I've already explained this to you guys. There's so much shame right now. I got a plastic straw. That's like the worst possible thing that you could get and could avoid. But I literally almost killed people on my way home from work because I'm so stressed out. <laughs> so my attitude driving around in a parking deck trying desperately to find somewhere to park so I could have Chick-fil-A today. Attitude was eff everything. I don't give a f about the plastic straw, but now I do give a f but it's too late. <sighs> Stress is definitely a factor in decision making. We can get pretty selfish sometimes because there's so much going on in our lives that nobody else's life matters. But it's not true. There's also hanger. That's not helpful. I was like a few days away from ending the challenge. I just didn't care anymore. It's been so stressful to try to go out of my way for everything. I suggest if you ever do this, to do it slowly and over time and don't beat yourself up like I do. I'm beating myself up because I'm on camera. If you use a straw every once in a while, nobody has to know. But you know, try not to, please. The turtles. I feel like I should stick the straw up my nose in honor of the turtles. No, sorry, I'm not gonna give myself a nosebleed. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> that sounded maniacal. Oh, God.